Welcome back to Fab Fun. My name's Logan, and today we're going to be cutting the frame on Project Yellow. Stay tuned. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to cut that and hope that my blocks don't fall apart. Get two of them going? Just sparks at each other? No. I'm trying to be very cautious about this. Huh, this stack might be tight under this one. I think it's been letting down. Can you check and make sure it's tightened up? Well, it might be when you jack up either side a little bit, it takes the pressure off the other. Yeah, you just took pressure off this. No big deal. Yeah, 
no touchy. All right. I do not like the way any of that looks. Me neither. But you don't yeah, have to have a holy no. no. Wouldn't trust the roof of this barn with anything. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cameron. Okay. So we've got jack stand, jack, concrete blocks. Sorry, Ben, that's what I had. More concrete blocks, more jack. So if one thing fails, I've got two more things to catch it. And hopefully, if all three fail, we have enough time to run. Feel like running Dakota? Not really. <laughs>
Well, it's been a really long day, but the truck is shorter. Did the little diamond splice plate, whatever you want to call it, welded it up. I'm not going to get real close because my welds aren't as pretty as some people's welds. Um, brake line I had to take loose. It's sticking up in the air so it stopped leaking out. A um, couple ideas that I had along the way to keep some tension up against it and get it tight and kind of make some very small adjustments. Put a bolt in the frame and hooked a ratcheting uh, strap and tied it off to a different spot down here. Did the same thing on the other side and then where I needed to align it and push the frame that way or pull the frame a little bit this way, I hooked in right here with a, it's just a really small like 500 pound chain hoist and I could ratchet it up and pull the frame over whichever direction it needed to go. And one way I accomplished hooking it up is by putting an eye bolt, forged eye bolt through the frame with a nut on the back of it. I also did one over here and that really, really helped adjust everything. Now it wasn't perfect. Um, you know, I, it, it doesn't look like a factory job, but I'm pretty happy with it. We got it all back together. That's the main thing. I'm pretty sure it's going to drive straight down the road. I'm kind of excited. Uh, the drive shafts. Where I cut it, it mounted up and worked great. Hooking it back up there. I still have a little bit of space there on the slip yoke. And I've already got it hooked back up to the rear end. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, there's not a lot else to update right now. I've got to zip the back end off right here. I got to get a new brake line. I got to bleed the rear brakes. And then I need to start on the tune up. And I'm pretty excited about that. Might work on a hitch too back here, a uh, bumper pull. But there's the update. Guys, thanks for watching Fab Fun. I'm wore out. I think I'm going to go inside, get something to drink, and then maybe watch TV in the air conditioning, and maybe even eat some ice cream. Catch you next time.